There are many reasons to move, be it a new job, better lifestyle, maybe your budget, earning less or more. Maybe you just want to change a scene. It's always some life event in general. I decided to move to be happy again. Quarantine ruined my attitude about where I lived. I mean, the walls closed in. When you move to Columbia, you might wonder how to find a place. My name is Lauren Lau, and this is my adventure in Grand Columbia. Your likely concerns will be things like a fair price, not get gouged, location, safety, security. Today's video is the first in a series of how to, finding and setting up your own place and avoiding some pitfalls. Let's first look at the how to find. Let's take a look back at the apartments and houses I've rented in Ecuador and Colombia the past five years. Start walking the neighborhood you're interested in. No, not that one. Choose several barrios that suit your needs. Facebook is a great place to help with information. Prioritize your wants. It's not likely they'll all be found in one place. Look for rent sign in the windows. Between Facebook and walking, you should be able to locate half a dozen places that come close to your priorities in the barrio you prefer. But be willing to be flexible. While you may think you know what you want, other barrios may surprise you. Get opinions on barrios from others. Ask multiple people, even waitresses, store clerks, and especially taxi drivers. Look for consensus. Once you narrow down some places, set up appointments to see them. It's no problem to use Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp and Google Translate. Keep this in mind. First, apartments move fast. Be prepared to decide quickly. And second, don't feel pressure. There will always be others. It's always best to work with the owner. Often they have a friend or a relative that handles things. Beware of an agency. You can lose your negotiating ability. However, the place I wanted had an agent, but they were willing to let me meet with him. You should negotiate. Be sure you express what you desire and terms you are willing to make. I always make my offer up front, pending, of course, my final decision, such as the monthly rent, although it won't vary that much. But on my last place, I did get about $40 a month off. Deposits. I refuse to do anything outrageous. I'll move on to the next one. When they're asking for three months or six months, that's just crazy. The most I've done is one and a half months. Typically, it's one month, and this place I just moved into, there is no deposit. I did have very good references. Sometimes the utilities can be included. Usually, no, but take that into consideration. Internet may be important. If you're new, you may not be able to get a contract. If you ask the owner if he'll include the internet because you're unable to get a contract, and include that in the price of the rent, that can save you some hassles. Now, once you've been here four or five months, you're all set. Now, Tigo, the company Tigo, is the easiest to get a contract, and if you're going to get one as a new person, that would be the one to try. Also, spell out who's responsible for maintenance. The general rule here is you're responsible for anything once you sign the lease. Remember, if it isn't in writing, it doesn't exist. Even the nicest of people usually ignore pre-lease verbal promises. That's just how it is here. 
This time, I found the rent reasonable after my walkthrough. It only needed a few light bulbs. I have no issue getting the internet. I'll do another video on that. So I offered the asking rent, no deposit, and I set my move-in date, and he accepted. Thank you.